don't make this edit, make this instead. This is a video where I put my sweatiest arena fights in a video to show you guys exactly what edit I should have made or what I did correct. If there ever comes a time where I need to do a better edit, I'm gonna showcase it to you in creative and walk you through it as quickly as possible. My name is Ken Beans, and the goal of this video is to get through as many fights as possible so you guys have the best chance of learning something. If you wanna support me and these videos, don't forget to use code Ken Beans in the item shop. And without further ado, welcome back to episode three. First clip, I got something a little spicy, nothing too crazy. As I'm fighting this guy, I realize that he's above this floor. So all I'm doing is making this peanut butter edit. I'm kind of just taking peek shots behind this wall. Notice how when I jumped here, his back was towards me. That way I knew I wasn't gonna get shot back and I didn't have to reset that wall. He tries to pop a big in my face, so I just keep the pressure up with my SMG. I got a little antsy here, so I decided to push him and then just axe through his builds. Whenever I come around a corner like this, I always try and extend those cones out in front of me. In a room that's really confined, getting as much cones as possible is always gonna be the best option. Then I just follow that up with a quick wall, and as I edit through, I edit the cone upwards into a stair. That way it blocks the shot when he shoots me when I'm coming in. Throwing any sort of edit into someone's face whenever you're running through something is gonna be the best way to take them off guard because they're not gonna know exactly when to shoot. This is a very common position that lots of people find themselves in. I got about six builds to my name. I'm waiting for the best chance to edit through this tile without him noticing. I want him to not see me as I'm running up to confirm this edit. Notice how when I shoot him, I instantly turn around and reset this floor as quickly as possible. Then I edit again to see if he's gonna still hold that edit. Then I got a little 200 IQ play here and I use the stair to jump out to the side and try and go for a nice little peek shot. I talked about this tip in my last video. See how this guy jumps and then as he's falling down, I confirm the edit last second so he falls right to my level. This throws him so off guard and you can see how he's not ready for it. And I take him off guard and get the kill. Things to note on this kill. I'm doing this side jump backwards. That way I could see exactly where he is. And then I edit the tile furthest away from him and then piece control that wall to his right. That way I'm completely protected in case he 180 flicks me really quick. I don't try and go for the perfect shot, but I just get a nice little chip damage shot in him. Now I got him half piece control and I do a nice little peanut butter edit and then reset really quickly. Now he's one HP, he's nervous, he's running, I spray through my AR and finish up the kill. This was one of my most sweatiest fights from the other day. I just want to preface that this guy had a gold spaz the whole time. Mistake number one, I choked the stair at it right here. Good thing to note, the wall was just reset, so it was one pickaxe swing and I got it. I should have peace controlled more behind cover, that way I didn't get shot right here. The second he edited this, I should have ducked down to my right side and hid behind the wall, that way once he edits it, I can snag it right back. Instead, we go for a 50-50. Whenever someone throws a stair in your box, so many people get nervous. Just break it with your pickaxe and place a cone in it. Stay calm and act like it was nothing. He goes for my top wall this time. He was being really aggro and I knew he was going for a second swing. So I edit really quickly and try and take him off guard. Instead, he tries to do a nice protected peak shot, but I do a 200 IQ play. You see how I do that edit, but I'm hugging the wall. So all he's gonna see is my head fly up and fly down. That is a textbook peak shot. It felt mad good to kill this person too. All right, so we were starting off pretty hot. Now time for the bad stuff. As you you can see I'm fighting this kid and I'm boxed up with very low mats and very low health. I hit him 88 here and I got him on the run. But then a third party shows up. Notice how I'm taking shots at awkward times for him though. But this is where I screw up. Never make this type of edit in this position. If you're ever one HP, don't make edits that expose yourself completely. You have to be really protective. Just make sure you play really slow and smart. Think about what you do before you do it. That way you don't overpeak. Watch this clip and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Notice how I'm one HP again and I'm in the same position I was last time with no mats. So I get shot and I'm literally three HP. Now I just sort of leveled the playing field with that shot. I built a wall right away and dropped down so there's no angle for him to see me. This is where stuff gets crazy because I literally got no mats. I thought it would be a good idea to flip that stair at it and stay to the right hand side. That way he won't be able to see me too well and maybe I'll get a shot on him. I felt like I had to make a play because I was no mats. You see how I'm playing so far of an angle that it's hard for him to see me and I got the tree and the cone in the way. Playing patiently here got me this kill. You could literally even see after I shot, I was running behind the tree to reduce any amount of damage that was gonna happen to me. Low key, it reminds me of like a roach when the light gets turned on because you just run behind cover almost instantly. It should be second nature to do things like this. This play was all types of messed up. I'm gonna show the correct way right after. You have to assume that everyone's a psycho nowadays. I shouldn't have jumped off that stair and went for the pickaxe. The second I did, he had to jump on me and got a nice shot. Also, my shotgun wasn't reloaded going into this. I didn't give myself an efficient way of leaving this box if I had to. When he was on top of his stair, I could have left and tried to edit out. All around, just chokes. 
When you roll up to someone's wall like this, I shouldn't have just placed the wall on one side. I should have put it on both sides like this and then continue to do this. And then I should have confirmed it to bait him to come out. Then if he did, I can shoot him and then run out and try and go for a different angle. All the clips in the video and this one is one of my favorites. You see how this guy is going crazy trying to edit on everything? In my position, all you need to do is have your shotgun out and be ready to escape the box instantly. Every time he does a double edit, I'm not even inside the box. So he drops in there and I get a shot on him. Whenever a wall gets reset, it's it's always gonna be one shot. If it's metal, it's gonna be one shot for longer. These peanut butter edits are extremely well timed. I wait for him to shoot a shotgun, then I go out and strike. I give myself time to reload, calm myself. I knew that he overpeaked out a little too much, but he probably thought that he was behind cover. So this is why I did that peanut butter edit super quick because I knew he wasn't gonna expect it. I absolutely love this fight. This is good. This player right here just met Optimus Prime. The second this guy came out of the truck, I instantly pump him and go for the wall and extend my peace control. This happened fast, so if we slow this down, the second this guy gets out the truck, you see me shoot him, grab a wall, and then extend my cone out through those walls. That way, the last thing I place is the wall and I almost have him fully boxed. This clip is crazy because it was extremely calculated. Try to extend your cones out the next time you're fighting someone. No one talks about this move ever. When you're pushing on someone's wall like this, half the people in arena are gonna launch right at you. You see this move where I back up, place a wall, edit it really far away, and then put a cone inside? Notice how I did the tile edit on the far right instead of the closer one to the left. I'm completely blocked no matter what angle this guy sees me at. Shout out to my guy Dinosaur FN and his little brother Jurassic World FN for griefing my game after that kill. Try to learn to be patient more than aggressive, and you're gonna find it's gonna be paying off. Also, there was a weird stutter in the game, not only on the record, that's why it lagged right there. Here's a perfect example of don't make this edit, make this instead. I did a window edit and then sneaked a cone in there. That way when he jumps up, he's gonna get caught inside my build. This is how you establish peace control without 50-50ing someone. This is how I get someone's wall weak with my SMG or AR. Even if they jump out this box or do some sort of peak shot, I'm not visible. Notice how I took a couple shots then ducked behind my cone because I know he's going to make an edit play. It always happens. Once I saw him reset the wall, I instantly dropped down in it because I knew it was going to be one pickaxe. I practiced that cone slide so much, get it in there, get a nice pump shot, reset, do the same thing, easy kill. Watching this vid back, it almost seems as though there was a lack of creative clips this video. But to be honest with you, I think I might be getting better. Slowly but surely, you know? There's always going to be something to improve on though. But overall, I'm happy with where I'm at. I plan on releasing episodes about about every week or so so hit that sub button because i know around 70 to 60 percent of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed in case you guys were wondering i got a 49 on one of my finals but i did manage to pass the class i'm definitely not proud of the grade but listen i'm happy i passed and i graduated this semester i finished my four-year degree in three years because i had 30 credits coming out of high school a quick heads up i'm gonna be going full-time now that i graduated so if there was ever a time to hit that sub button now more than ever i would appreciate it before i forget shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code chembeans i love y'all thank you so much come through on the twitch channel i'm gonna be live a lot link in the description i'll talk to you guys in the next video hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a good night deuces everyone peace